My name is Tracy Abramson, or Tracy Hunter Abramson, if you're looking at my book fronts. And my newest book is Obsession. What it's about is a famous singer in LA um, is, has a stalker. And this FBI agent is tasked to protect her, but he can't tell her that he's protecting her because she doesn't really want anyone protecting her. She's sick of bodyguards. So it makes for some interesting reading by the end of it. <laughs> Well, I can't quite decide what I'm going to be when I grow up. So far, author is sticking. But when I came out of college, I was actually recruited by the CIA, and that is the Central Intelligence Agency, not the Culinary Institute Academy. Um, as I do like to cook, but I don't cook that well. But um, the CIA, and was actually an old bishop of mine, saw me coming out of the admin building, and he said, why aren't you on my list? And I said, well, it said, you want an accountant, and that's not me. And he said, but I think you'd fit. And I was one of two people that they took. Uh, right out of BYU. So I spent six years there doing a little of everything. I and the thing I loved about the job was that every two years you changed assignments. And so for somebody who can't decide what they're going to do, it's perfect. <laughs> it was a perfect job. Um, my experience in the, in the CIA, one of my, I had, like I said, I had three different jobs while I was there. And one of them, I was a liaison, worked in a liaison office. And so I worked with other government agencies, pretty much mostly in the intelligence community, but it gave me a, the exposure to FBI and Secret Service and NSA and basically anybody who knows anything about secrets within the government. So I just, you, you sit around and listen at the right times and you have a clue of what's going on. <laughs> so since I like suspense, it was the perfect place to start before, before going into this career. First few books, it was actually quite ironic because Every time I based anything on reality, I was told that it wasn't realistic enough, and so I had to change it. But I couldn't say that it, why it was real because it was classified. So it, after a while, I finally learned the right questions to ask to my editors and say, you know, why, what doesn't make sense? And then I could fix it a little bit to make it more, more realistic. But honestly, it's, I don't take from real experiences, I take from similar experiences. The main character, Kendra, she's, like I said, a famous singer, and I think a lot of that came from my younger sister used to work on the Grammys, and she'd come home after weeks of working backstage, she was a backstage coordinator, and she just had all of these fascinating stories, and just things like Shania Twain showing up, you know, in her jeans and ponytail, and other people showing up dressed to the hilt for the dress rehearsals, and some of the personalities of some people are so great, and some people are very into um, people telling them how good they are. So it, 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 I think that probably fed in a lot. And then like I said, my childhood, growing up in, in pine, well, having pine wood for my summers. And, um, and also, I, I go to church and work with a lot of people that are FBI. So a lot of other authors, when they have a question about the FBI, they'll call me up or email me and say, you know, how would this work? And I'll be like, I don't know, let me go to church. I'm going to church tonight. And I'll walk through the hall and I don't even have to look for somebody. There'll be somebody in the hall. Like, hey, I need to ask you a question. So listening to some of their stories and their adventures, all I have to do is pretty much be around some of my friends and I get inspiration. <laughs> I think the message is really learning how to trust somebody. Um, and also recognizing that bad things can happen and if you trust your instincts and trust the Lord, then you can overcome just about anything. Well, I have a website and a blog. Um, my website is tracyhunterabramson.com and my blog, spot, or my blog is tracyabramson.blogspot.com. And of course, I'm on Twitter and Facebook.